pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Shane. You open the word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, God, we come to you this evening, and Lord, we uh, just pray that, God, you would have your will and way in everything that is said and done in our time together. Uh, Lord, we thank you for the opportunity to be able to serve, and we thank you for the men and women that uh, serve our, our community, and Lord, we pray that you would continue to bless each and every one in it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, I'll call this meeting to order. Let's start with the roll call. Councilman Mary Biggs. Here. Councilman Bates. Here. Councilman Dinkett. Here. Councilman Smith. Here. Councilman Williams. Here. All present. All righty. Consideration of minutes. This has the uh, council minutes from uh, January 9th, and it also has the bid opening minutes for the seized car that we had. It was awarded last month. If y'all had a chance to read through them, any questions? Additions or corrections? Hearing none, they'll be approved as written. Move along. Uh, Chief Hunt's not here for the police report. I believe he is sent his report. Anybody has any questions? There is no one here to answer those. <laughs> uh, but if not, we can forward them on. Got Chief's number, so we'll move along to the uh, fire report. Chief, the only thing I have is late last month we was awarded a $3,500 grant from the State Farm Arson's office, um, and that will go towards two new sets of turnout here. Uh, should we resubmit the paperwork for it in the month? So should be awarded shortly. I'm going to add to that. This is something that I, I never really thought of, and uh, a couple of Chief of Leaders talked to Michael here. As far as life insurance for firemen, uh, we do not offer it. Michael is looking into giving at least what the employees get. They're not here back from the carrier right now, even though we back today. Uh, so we're, we're waiting on that. If that's something you would be interested in doing, I think it's it's a good thing. Just I've never thought about it. Uh, I, I watched a news piece on it here a couple weeks ago. And it, Brought it to my attention, so uh, I mean, I think it, I think ours is roughly ten eleven bucks. It's like seven dollars and some change, and that's twenty five thousand dollars in life insurance plus uh, accidental death and dismemberment. So, would we be able to carry it with us? Yes. Like, let's say, like if, like like if they left. If they left. Mm -hmm. They'll prorate it, and depending on what coverage you want, you can't take it with you. Yeah. So I mean, that's something that as soon as we figure out, we will uh, we'll run it for you guys. Do their firefighters fall under the work comp if they're out there on? Okay. They're covered with yeah. right. I did not know that. Question, but also, so. <coughs> All right. Does anybody have any uh, questions for Chief LaFaber? If not, we'll move on to financial statements. Uh, Y'all should have better. If you have any questions, let me know.
Second. Second. Uh, any questions? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Next order of business is the senior citizens donation. Um, they requested five hundred more dollars. Yes, we normally do five hundred dollars. And they're requesting a thousand dollars. Kind of, it falls in line with what I think it's in between what South Carthage and Carthage pays. I think Carthage is a little bit more, and I think South Carthage is above us now. So. They sent us a letter back in before budget time. <clears throat> Just wanted to let you guys know or, or, or have your thoughts on that. It's within our budget, current budget now. Do we need a motion on that? In, in the motion, I would like to set it at that so we don't have to request it every year. Is that what you want, Michael? Yeah, if y'all are comfortable with it, we'll just make it going that going forward if you are. So a thousand per year? Per year, yes. yes. All right. So make, make a motion. So second? Second. Any questions or comments? Okay. Hearing none, we'll take a roll call. Vice Mayor Biggs? Yes. Councilman Bates? Yes. Councilman Haycutt? Yes. Councilman Smith? Yes. Councilman Williams? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you, guys. Uh, New business, uh, consideration of ordinance 2023-02-13 amendment to rezone 2.85 acres of property first reading. I put the copy of the map in there. I'll give you a brief on it. Uh, it's the rezone of property located across from Paul's Antiques. Uh, it's currently a C1. They're asking for a C2. This would allow the new owner to put a, an a, apartment complex our current regulations for this size parcel has the max amount of units being 26. This request has come before the planning commission and was approved unanimously to be heard by the council. This will be the first reading and will require a public hearing and a second reading next month for the passage. Uh, correct. <coughs> okay. and I can send this group has other uh, ones doing the Bonnell Acres establishment right there in the Bonnell Road, so you can kind of see the product that they put out. It's a it's a nicer uh, bill. Uh, he, he did render some plans that were just uh, kind of rough sketches, but knowing the developer, he and what he does is generally nice things. Uh, I'll even one of those out here in the morning so you can look at them. Where is our sewer line at on this property? That sewer line runs parallel to railroad tracks on the Meadow Drive side, and that didn't scare them about going under the railroad. There is a gravity and a pressure main there, so they have the availability to get either one of those that they would like to. So it's there. Water is across <coughs> the street on the Paul's Antique side. Um, I did make them aware of the T-dot right away or driveways in that bad curve there. Is there any other questions on that? <coughs> I would entertain a motion to pass this on first reading. Make a motion. A second. Second. Motion has been made and seconded. Any other discussion? Hearing none, we'll take a roll call. Council Mayor Beeks? Yes. Council Mayor Bates? Yes. Council Mayor Honeycutt? Yes. Council Mayor Smith? Yes. Council Mayor Williams? Yes. Motion carries. All right. Well, thank you. Uh, we'll move along to the consideration of sewer plant supervisor applicant. Uh, back in spring of last year, uh, Tony Fowler uh, retired, leaving us without a certified operator. We opened the position for applications and didn't have a good response. The certified operator that applied decided not to take the position at that time, but we did have a contract with him uh, to do our paperwork and look after the plan. The person in training decided not to seek employment and, or with us, and I talked to the contractor and he decided he wanted the job. I hired him as of February 1st under an emergency situation, us being without a licensed operator. Uh, 
we bring him here, him in front of the council for your approval. It is with, with my recommendation that we hire Mr. Gentry for the position. I will need a motion for that. The council. So moved. Second. Motion to make and second. Any discussion? Hearing none, we'll take a roll call. Councilman Biggs. Yes. Councilman Bates. Yes. Councilman Honeycutt. Yes. Councilman Smith. Yes. Councilman. Yes. Motion carries. Thank you, guys. If any of you don't know, Mr. Gentry is here in the present. Already, uh, welcome aboard, group. Welcome home. I'll put it that way. Welcome home. Uh, we'll move along to the next appointment. The appointment of members of the audit committee. Back a couple of years ago, uh, we came up with an audit committee. Uh, never did see that when I took over as mayor. Uh, Michael, you got to run down on that. Run down as who it was. Who it, we need to appoint three members and a chairman. Is that correct? It was uh, chairman was Mr. Prophet and then Mr. Harp and then Ms. Biggs was the third. So we'll need a nomination. She can be retained or you can do three new, I guess. Do you want to? Oh, man. <laughs> need nominations for the chair. You want it? This, 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 I think they've met once since this is formed. And it's for, most of the time it's approval of mileage. And that's during the meeting. No extra meetings, but if there is some other things that come up, there will be another meeting. Most of the time, this is what I'm thinking. Right. And you can have separate and apart meetings, and they have, they, I think they had a couple of three. They might have. Yeah. And usually it's for the traditional approval of kind of the current type expenses, and then if there is an issue raised or an issue that needs to be investigated, the audit committee has authority to do matters can get referred to the committee if there's financial questions or anything. wants to be on the table. <laughs> so I have a nomination for chair. It's got to be a vocal nomination. I, I, I nominate oh, okay. uh, Jessica B. <laughs> Is there any other nomination? I think that went with her crown. <laughs> <laughs> Seats. So moved. Is there a second? Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Congratulations. Uh, okay, we need two more board members. Thank you. Can just appoint those. Okay. okay. Has to be a vote. Anybody else? Angela Bates wants to. Okay, Angela. Sure. Appointed. Who else?
So that would be my suggestion is, is raising, to be comparable with the chamber. I don't think it will slow anybody down. Uh, it's just the cost of things that went up, electricity, water, sewer, paper uh, towels, and toilet paper. It's going up from what? I would like to, I would think from $50 to $100. That's from 30, 30 to 50 Okay. And 30 to 50 at the park. <clears throat> At 50 to 100 here, right? 50 to 100 here. Okay. But we're not breaking even. We're still operating in the red at $100. At 50. Here. At, At 50. 50. Here. I don't know that we could put a dollar number. But still be close. What do you think? Is 100 still going to keep us in the red, or do we need to go a little bit more so we'll be in the black at least? Honestly, if you want to make money, it probably should be 150 and that's not going to be a great profit, but it will be a little. Can you probably just honestly break even as high yeah. as everything is? Make an increase this year. Yeah, Take a look at it next year to where it is a gradual instead of jumping from a 50 to a 150 and see what difference that makes. Try to see within a year. See if we can nail down. We can get close, but it's hard to figure in because we use. I guess we could break it down on how many boxes of stuff we use here, cleaning supplies and. I mean, we could probably do a better job in a year of kind of keeping track of what we spend. So we spent almost $500 on the paper and toilet paper for both of them. Yeah. And that was just a couple of months ago. So. so we could, if we wanted to do a gradual change, we could do that probably at home and take it, you know, a year from now and, and keep up with what we use and try to get a better idea of what it costs. I'll make we, to track it with the cleaning and all that stuff. So. Are we buying that like at Walmart or are we buying the bulk? Universe. Universe, the same people, those are uniforms. Okay. <coughs> I'll make a motion we increase um, this to $100 and um, picnic shelter to 50 and look at the cost next year to see if we're in the black. With that being said, uh, there's going to be people that's already paid. Some people paid two or three years in advance. Mm -hmm. Well, right. Stacy will she'll get that figured out. Uh, so if somebody comes to you and says, "Well, you know, why did they only have to pay fifty? That would be the reason behind that. So. Can that motion include future reservations? Are you going to honor the ones that are already done and paid? Can you make it for future ones I that are scheduled? We, I think we should yeah. because some of these people have been doing it for. You can grandfather in people that have already paid at that rate. Yeah. You can I mean, increase any increase new reservations. reservations I mean, we talking about grandfather. Okay. So it's not a big no. chunk. Yeah, okay. It's, yeah, it's not a huge It's mostly for this one. And this is not talking years out. No, We're just no, no, just this year. Right. And when they come in, they usually do it right before. When they pick up the key, they'll do it the next year. And then we'll have new forms that they fill out. Okay. And then everything will start from there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't think it would be over five or six, but we'll put another right. ten. Uh, one of them just passed away, Miss Lovie Nixon. She's always, every year, you know what day she's got it on. So Father's Day is every year. Uh, is there a second to that motion? Second. Motion to the second. Uh, any other discussion? Hearing none, we will uh, have a roll call. Councilman Eric Biggs? Yes. Councilman Bates? Yes. Councilman Honeycutt? Yes. Councilman Smith? Yes. Councilman Williams? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you all on that. Uh, is there any other good business? I don't know if you want to put that on that because I've got a list that I've got on the committee. Uh, we'll bring that on the Okay. All right, we'll move on to old business. Consideration of local government investment pool options. Turn that over to the um, I've done some rough figuring today about uh, <coughs> what we could possibly do. Uh, the first one is for the sewer, the second one is highlighted. That would, yeah, that uh, middle column right now, the local government investment pool as of January, the rate is 4.25. Last time I talked to Mr. Pool, we figured it 
probably get to at least five in uh, February. Um, with it at 4.25, the second option right now would clear our latest deficit in our audit for sewer plant. That would completely wipe that off the books. So if we do this, I would like to start out with the second one right there to cover that. We can be a little more generous with the general funds. We're working with more, so either second or third option if we want to. And we'll probably check, I guess, the resolution or something to do that. I couldn't find a sample anywhere. Um, if you guys are interested in doing this, I'll get a resolution for you guys to look at to uh, authorize us to do this. I like to keep it generic so we want to do this in the future. We don't have to put a dollar amount on it. Just if you guys authorize, uh, authorize us to do it as needed, uh, we can. I believe the it's for two years, but you can have the funds the next day if something happens. Whereas if you go with the bank, you're looking at 14 months and it's a whole lot harder to get your money back. So something that I would like to like to look into doing is making the citizens' money work for them better. Plus, uh, part of our problem on our audit can be corrected just by doing this. That's so. seventy-five thousand dollars a year. Yeah. Just in the general fund, we would be making off to the citizens' money. Yeah, I'll get I'll get something for you guys to look at to uh, see what you think. I think it's a it's a good idea. Yeah, we reduced the sewer down to try that fourteen well yeah. there, try that fourteen thousand dollars. So we were sixty last year. Yeah. So we're getting there. And that, that's going to fluctuate with new uh, infrastructure and stuff because the depreciation will start increasing. So if we go ahead and get ahead of it a little bit, you can't do anything but help it. So. I will add on a note to that. We uh, did hire a firm to come in and do a rate study per the comptroller's request. We have signed a uh, contract with uh, that company. He does work with our sewer engineer, so that's good. Uh, so we should have some, I think it's three months, roughly, is what it would take to complete that. Uh, then we have to report that to the comptroller's office. So we're taking the right steps to keep the things figured out in the sewer department. Are there any other questions on that from Michael? We'll, well, we'll, we'll bring something. We yeah. don't want to wait too long, so we'll bring something to you guys uh, next month. <clears throat> All right. Uh, as far as old business, the only thing I've got is uh, I've got a contractor looking at the sidewalks. We would have had some of the small fixes done. We've been at the sewer plant every day, except for Monday and Tuesday. Uh, the maintenance guy's working. So cleaning up, replacing water lines, doing things like that. I have got a contractor looking at the special spots out at IDA's Park. There's a couple, three or four down Main Street. Those are too large for us to fix. We're gonna come in and, and look at those and try to, we've got some money in the budget to go ahead and fix those, so we're gonna get started on that. We are putting out RFQs for a city engineer to address payment estimates. Uh, Mayor Mason has, uh, got some money with uh, economic development to help us pay JMZ uh, sponsor drive. And it's it's quite a bit of money. We don't know what it's gonna cost. So we'll go ahead and put out figures for engineers on that project. I'm also gonna tie sidewalks to that if you guys want to do some future expansions. That way somebody will be suitable for that. Uh, tornado siren is here. We are waiting on an install date. Uh, we had to pinpoint the location the other day. We were just waiting on them to say, hey, we're coming to you. We have located Daniel's couple of National Guard about where the sewer lines uh, are at. We're going to get with Drew to try to better locate our main pressure line that runs through there. So they could call the bar and say they'll be here Wednesday. That's the way that bunch operates. We hope it's not that quick, but they give us a little more heads up. But I expect it soon. Any more questions over that stuff? All right, hearing none, we'll move along to the audit committee. Um, first item of business is to just, this is something, this will be the second time that I have done this, is a uh, claim mileage for the expense report. Uh, I don't remember the proper procedures for that, but the chairman would look at that and okay it. Does the council vote on that? No, it's just, it comes out of the audit community signed off. Okay. They don't have to vote. There's a copy of that if you need to know it like that. Can you sign this on it? 
each member put aside. Yeah. 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 Let us look over this thing and then we'll go from there, maybe. Yeah, that'd be fine. Take a week or two to look over again. And I think y'all will find the end new ones. His recommendations he always puts at the back. So it's the. Yeah. Find find where you need to look elsewhere. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. Does the council have anything else tonight? Motion to go on. Make a motion. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. aye.